published by the Taliban, actually, it's quite unusual. It's a poetry book with a poem written by a Taliban member with a new insight as to what their attitude is about their country and about foreign troops. So um, I'll be collating some campaigning materials that would be, you know, very useful. Yeah, I think that is the plan, yeah. And we'll, we'll put together, um, you know, like um, posters and stuff that you can also use as well. But I'm taking uh, email contacts. I've got Penny's contacts, so hopefully she'll disseminate some campaigning uh, materials when they come out. But yeah, the, the 10th of December definitely we're going to get those. Be in solidarity with you. <laughs> And, you know, certainly 
actually, when we took the Afghan youth volunteers to India, because I went along with them to India, they, they, you know, the young people have been reading widely about acceptance of other cultures, and they were, you know, they were a little bit sort of reluctant to accept Hinduism, and you know, there is, so they have been. Um, the, the mullahs in their villages are quite fundamental in terms of things like idolatry and with believing in more than one god and stuff. So. You know, they have that, a lot of that that's in their, their background. Um, so even young people who have, you know, been sat down and talked, talked about and discussed different faiths and acceptance, they, you know, they still had that kind of, um, that residue still there. So, the last yeah, I suppose it is, you know, what I kind of sent and people that I spoke to. So a lot of those people that I did come in contact with were sort of middle class Afghanis living in, in, in Kabul. But I think the situation has, it has changed quite a lot over the last five years. Like five years ago, the attention was on Iraq and Afghanistan. It wasn't, you know, the, the level of warfare was nowhere near what it is today. Um, because a lot of the, the troops, a lot of the military troops, they were in, you know, they were focusing on Iraq. So the, the number of deaths amongst Afghans has, has, has gone up dramatically. And so I do think that, you know, a lot of people who are joining the Taliban now, they are in it for the distance against foreign troops. But certainly, you know, the Taliban, they were made up of, well, the Pashtun are a tribe that kind of goes across the border. And yeah. so that it, will be, it will be made up of a lot of um, Pakistanis. So the Pashtun, they, they're mainly on the, the, in between. They've been here for like, it's a tribe who've been here for hundreds of years. And some British diplomats at the end of the 19th century drew this line, completely ignoring that there was this tribe going across this area. And was like, right, that's Pakistan, and that's Afghanistan. So you get a lot of people just coming and going across the border, and it isn't that acknowledgement of these their separate countries by the Pashtun. So yeah, certainly there's you know loads of Pakistanis who are Pashtun and, and are part of the, the Taliban. I don't know about other people from Chechnya and how you know widespread this um, you know um, move for global of jihad in Afghanistan, but I mean that is it's you know, people. The reason why Muslims are involved with jihad is, is to you know, fight back against Western imperialism and the attack of Muslim countries. Um, but I, I'll look into that. I don't, I'm not... When you talk about children in the fields being killed, mm. and you use our expression, they were in the wrong place at the wrong time. Mm. What we have to remember, they were in the right place when yeah. the wrong thing happened. Yeah. And I, you know, when people say I've come to Kelly, I shout at Kelly, no, they were in the right place. Mm. We were the wrong place. <laughs>